guys so um, welcome back to my channel um, this video is going to be just a sit down video um, about me just talking about my business and how it has been up to now um, I started my business about two years ago um, next month um, in October it will be two years that I've been in business and um, there have been there have been a lot of ups and there have been a lot of downs. Um, I've been through so so much with my business, um, just a lot of behind the scenes things that people don't really get to see and get to know uh, about my business, you know. And especially since I'm running it all by myself. Um, it's been it's been a journey but honestly guys like there is I wouldn't give it up for any other type of work in the world like if you would just pay me to sit at home then yeah but I absolutely love my business it is my baby it is my everything and I just I love it so much mainly what I wanted to talk about today is um, the fact that lately I have been coming across or yeah coming coming across uh, a lot of people that um, feel like running a business and especially since it it's not it's not like big as I don't know it's not as big as let's say um, Sephora or whatever you know like a business that is extremely big um, my dogs yes my business has started to gain recognition but it's definitely not you know where I want it to be yet um, people just feel like I'll like they're not saying it blatantly like they're not saying like you're never gonna get there but you know that is indirectly what they want to say um, because they keep saying you know if I were you I would try to get a job at the government or um, just work for a company and do this as a side hustle and you know it at times it can get discouraging because especially when you're having a period where you know the business um your your business is not gonna like be booming all the time there aren't are gonna be periods where you're making less money and when the devil sneaks in right at that moment and keeps reminding you of the fact that you know you're not where you want to be or you're not really making that much money right now um it it can be very discouraging it can make you feel like you know maybe they are right maybe i do need to listen to them or maybe i should um not focus so much on on this and do it as a side hustle but honestly you guys i have never ever like you guys have seen me if you're not new to my channel you have seen me literally go through other jobs um, and I've been so miserable miserable like so miserable um, you know doing other other jobs and um, I can honestly say like nothing work related nothing no other job has made me feel um, so happy you know even when things are not going the way I want them to be like I still I can still pick myself up whereas with the other jobs I would just stay in like a down a down um, period for for longer time and I really had to do much more to pick myself up again so you know that that to me is a lot of proof that I I love my business this is what I love to do like I wouldn't want to change it for anything and people think People have no idea uh, how hard it is to run a business, especially if you've you don't have a background in 
bad like I haven't I didn't study business I studied uh, tourism and hospitality management that's what I studied so for me it was like a whole new thing um, but I just I just started I just went for it and I just believed in myself and I I, I still believe in myself that I can make it um, to where I want to be one day and you know it's um, it's a bit annoying that you know you come across these people because sometimes you feel like is it a sign is is this God telling me like this is not really the route for you um, but then again within yourself you feel like wow I love what I'm doing like I wouldn't want to do anything else so you know it can be a bit discouraging when it comes to that also um, what I deal with a lot um, right now is the fact that I do everything myself um, I as of now I have three big um, um, let's say people or like businesses that I work with that buy wholesale bonnets from me and then sell them again and that is a lot of work that is a lot of work like these two little hands have made over 600 satin bonnets you know and it's it's a lot it's a lot for me alone because apart from buying all the material that I need like the fabric the, 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 the elastic the thread everything I I buy the I buy the materials I make the products I um, produce content for my um, in for my social media especially for my Instagram to post and to attract you know like as a, as a marketing tool to attract customers um, I do that I shoot the content content I edit the content I post the content um, I take orders I deliver orders um, I am my own customer service representative like if there's something wrong um, if something went wrong with the order I have to take it upon myself alone and try to fix it with the customer you know so it's it's a lot for just one little person <laughs> um, everyone keeps saying that I look much younger than I am but yeah um, so you know it's a lot it's a lot for me to handle all by myself and I am thinking about expanding um, my my horizons uh, expanding my business and possibly you know getting someone to work with um, and you know so I don't have that much um, on my plate because it is a lot for just one person to handle and my business is not even as big as I dream of it to be yet so you know it's a lot and um, but the other thing is also that it's really hard to trust people because um, I know like the hard work that I put into my business and if someone would work for me I want I would want them to put that same energy into my business and um, you know it might it probably won't be the same as the love that I have for my for my uh, business but uh, someone that would come close to that so you know it's hard um, but when I am financially able to I do definitely want to um, expand my business and um, possibly move somewhere closer where I would be able to do more because another aspect of my business right now is the fact that I live so far from Paramaribo where everything like everything is situated um, probably 0.2% of my sales come from the area that I live in like 99.9% .9 probably of my sales come from Paramaribo and everything happens there like buying of the materials um, delivering the orders so it's really hard for me when I um, 
have to do everything by myself by myself time management um, you know it's a lot so yeah that's a big thing that I am dealing with also now the biggest thing also right now is of course that we are living in a pan during a pandemic um, it is super hard for business owners um, to keep their business running right now because um, you can't really have set prices on things um, like for example I never wanted my my bonnets to be more than $25 but I now I'm forced to change my prices every time and it's really annoying um, but then again you also have to think about the fact that you know we're living in really hard times and um, I can't like sell a bonnet for $100 like no one's gonna buy that even though when you calculate your costs like the cost of you know making like the cost of making the product and um, you also have to have some revenue um, so you know it's 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 really hard because you constantly have to change your prices and um, there's a lot that comes that um, comes with that and especially because right now we don't have a set um, exchange rate so that like the exchange rate has that is where everything lies and falls like if the exchange rate changes everything changes um, in the in the stores and you know you you're gonna have to um, you're gonna have to invest more money into buying your supplies to make your products and a lot of people don't even think about that you know when they see that prices of certain products have gone up they automatically go and blame the uh, the business or the company but people have no idea how hard it is for people that own a business to um, come up with the prices um, now I'm, I'm not talking about the people that um, just make make use of this situation or let, let's say misuse this situation to um, sell their products for much and much much higher prices like those people deserve to they deserve for their business to die actually because you're not you're not you're not thinking about the customer you're not thinking about the fact that if you were in the place of the customer you would probably not be able to afford um, certain things so you know all of all of those aspects play a role in how you um, conduct your business and especially like the, fi the the financial part of things is extremely extremely difficult um, I am my own accountant <laughs> uh, I you know all of those things fall on me so it's pretty hard but um, if you do want your business to stay alive you do it, it it's it's something that you can't avoid you have to tackle that as well guys I also forgot to mention um, the fact that um, a lot of people feel like you should be you should have a certain high position at a company um, because you know you have a college degree and you have to you have to like you know be on top um, but I for now I choose to be on top on, at the top of my own business um, I don't I don't have any ambitions to, um, you know, be working for someone in a company um, and to be possibly become a manager or, you know, I just, um, yes, I have a college degree, but um, I can, I can still try to incorporate that into my current business. Um, I don't know why people feel like, you know, when you have a college degree, um, you can't be wasting it by, you know, 
just starting your own business and I don't know I just don't get that logic like why can I not be my own boss like why can I not you know discover things by myself so you know that's also something that I just don't I don't get like why do people feel the need to come and tell you what you have to do with your degree like if I just wanted to like be working in a fast fast food restaurant even though I have a college degree that's none of your business sorry <laughs> um, but yeah with everything said um, those are the challenges that I face um, during the pandemic and during like I for the fact also that I run my business all by myself um, but um, I would, oh, I would just not, I would not give this up. Um, I don't know what the future holds for me. Um, if, if you guys see that I do end up working for someone else, um, then I solely, I solely made that decision for myself. Um, I'm not going to change that because, um, you know, people keep saying stuff to me no I solely made that decision for myself and for my future um, so yeah that is also one advice that I want to give to other um, upcoming entrepreneurs if you feel like you need to make like com combine you know your business with also working for a company to like you know to um, better your financial situation then do that but don't don't do it because people keep telling you that you're not gonna make it and then make it and that you're not gonna be big because you can be big you you know you yourself decide um how big your, your business is gonna be and how and where you're gonna stand a few a few years from now so don't don't focus on what people say, but just go for it. Just start. Just do it. You'll figure it out. If you if you really want this, you will figure it out. Um, and yeah, just keep on pushing on. It is it is hard, but it's worth it. And um, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I hope this rant was. Um, I I hope I didn't. Um, bore you bore you guys with um all of this talking but um i just wanted to let you guys know um the things that i've been dealing with and whatnot um i will leave my entrepreneur vlogs here for you guys that are interested or if you haven't seen them yet and um yeah subscribe here on my face if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next time bye guys